Hello, YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Hello to all my natural hair subscribers. This is Queen at Hand, and as you see, my hair is gone. Gone, gone, chopped off. Bye bye, baby, gone. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, what happened was, I ended up um, losing the fight against relaxers. Yes, relaxers, and I put a, I put a perm in my hair, or relaxer, whatever you want to call it. I put one in my hair, this was, um, oh, about four months ago, four or five months ago, and um, it was terrible, you know, I put it in, and I liked it for about a day, and after that, it was just too straight, and after that, the same problem that I had in the beginning of putting relaxers in my hair, the ends kept shedding and shedding and shedding and shedding and shedding. That's gross. When you comb your hair, you see hair shitting off in the, in the sink and all over the place. So, anyways, I cut my hair. So that's over and done with. And I'm happy to say that I cut my hair off. I went to the barber shop and they cut all that relaxer off my hair. That dirty, nasty relaxer. And I can tell you, I will never, with a capital N, never, 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 because I learned from experience of, from birth, having, being natural from birth, going into the relaxer, then going natural, then saying I was never going to go uh, uh, with a, a relaxer again, then, then wanting to go straight, I'm never going to do it again. I learned my lesson. I know how it feels. I know what the outcome's gonna be like, no matter how long the hair, because I'm thinking, oh, my hair has some length to my hair about that long. Oh yeah, maybe if I put a relaxer in it, oh, it's gonna lay it down, it's gonna be, oh. I'm watching all these commercials, all these girls with the nice silky hair, and it seemed like every t corner I turned, or every time I look out my window, I'm seeing all these girls with the long hair, oh, no, I should've just bought a weave, or I should've just bought a wig. I should have left my hair alone. My hair would have been, who knows how long, you know? If I would have just left it alone. So now I use myself as an example. Don't do it. I told you guys not to do it, to fight the feeling, fight the force, don't do it. And I didn't even listen to my own self. But now, did you see the repercussions? And I should have showed, I should have posted pictures, but I was so embarrassed. I was embarrassed. Done. So I said, let me come on here. Just let you know that I had to cut my hair off because of what I did. So, anyways, to make it short, because I can talk and I don't want to go over ten minutes, I just want to give you a look. My hair looks even better now. It's even more curlier, even healthier, thicker. Girl, man, shoot! Look at it. Look at my hair. My hair, it feels good. It don't feel as dry. Because when I wash my hair, I put conditioner in it. And then sometimes I leave the conditioner in it. Or sometimes I don't just wash with shampoo. Sometimes I just wash with conditioner. Because I know better from, from learning from, you know, YouTube and watching everyone else do their hair natural. I know how to take care of my hair now. And I don't worry about my hair. I don't worry about it at all. I don't worry about it no more. Don't worry. I wash my hair. I condition my hair. I oil my hair. I take care of my hair. And my hair is wonderful now. Even more than ever. Even more than ever. So. I'm loving it. I'm loving it, y'all. And not like no McDonald's either. <laughs> Yo, check it out. I'm loving it, y'all. I gotta get a, uh, another edge up. 
I should get that cut off right there. Like, uh, matter of fact, I ain't gonna get no edge up. I'm gonna let that grow in. What do you call that? The widow's peak or whatever. I'm gonna let that grow in. Let all that grow back in. Right there. Let's brush it down with some gel. Brush that down a little bit there. Big earrings, get my eyebrows touched up, my little makeup on. Anyways, just want to let you know what I did. Cut my hair, but I'm happy now. And now I'm sporting the natural look, and I'm so happy to be back. I'm so happy to be back. Yay! <sighs> Look at it. It's so beautiful. And it feels so thick. It's thicker than from when I first did the big chop um, in, in 09, November. It's thicker. And it's so curly and thick and mm, juicy. Alright, bye. Peace. Subscribe if you like. Next time I'm gonna be um actually putting the products on my hair as far as aloe vera, shea butter, canola oil. Not too much. I don't go crazy. You know, I don't go crazy anymore like I did in the beginning. Just a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, um, conditioner, don't matter what the brand is. It's all the same. As far as it not having all those uh, bad things in it like the uh, the mythicone or whichever sorts of things that are in it that stick on to the hair shaft and all that other scientific stuff I don't wish to go into right now but I heard that it's really hard to get off your hair because it won't let in the um, moisture that needs to anyways peace good luck on your hair journey and look, stay away from the relaxers if you can and um, I'm not saying it's gonna kill you, but look, if you, if you know your hair is weak from the relaxers, don't try to put it back in your hair knowing that your hair don't take well to the relaxers. Don't do it, because when your hair is natural and you see it growing, you're gonna want to put the relaxer in your hair so that you can and feel it blowing all in the wind. Don't do it because you know better. You know that your hair don't work well from the relaxer. Don't even do it. Just don't do it. Get a mold, get like a weave mold, or get like a, a, a you know, a wig or a weave, something. Just don't cut your hair. I mean, uh, don't um, put a relaxer in it. Anyways, this is Queen at Hand. Take care. My next video, I am going to put some aloe vera jelly in it. And I'm going to blend it my eyes and all of that. I can't wait. So today's date is November. Thursday, November the 11th, November the 11th, right there, 2010, take care, bye.